Okay, so I'm Nicholas Yearwood. I'm the CEO of Mango Tree TV. Mango Tree is a subscription service uh, for intelligent content, uh, long form content, so anything 30 minutes and above. Uh, and it's content that is um, specifically inclusive and representative. Uh, Mango Tree off is important because it offers the opportunity for people from different cultures, backgrounds, to hear their voices heard, um, to see their faces seen, um, to see high quality programming that represents them on, on, the, on the screen. I think that, that, the, that audiences are constantly changing towards content. Uh, when you're on the train, on the bus, on the street, you'll see that people are, uh, the, the emergence of second screen. So people watching content on their laptops, on their phones, um, on other devices. Um, people are breaking up content, so they're watching it more in pieces. And um, then you've got the, 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 you've had the advent of binge um, watching, which is watching content all at, um, at the same time, or in one evening or one day. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of changes in content that are directly related to the streaming industry, which is what we're part of. So the streaming industry is, is, very, is still fairly new, even though Netflix has, has been established for a while and the large companies have been established for a while. Um, the streaming industry is now allowing people, for, again, from different cultures and backgrounds, to create their own um, uh, programming and to get that broadcast as well. So um, content is, is going through a great deal of changes. And the future, uh, from my perspective and our perspective at Mango Tree, the future is really exciting because we're able to now create um, uh, you know, to research, create, and, and then broadcast, and then broadcast to, and, uh, you know, to audiences that we, that we create and distribution networks that we create ourselves. I mean, you know, that, that question answers itself um, because they're underrepresented, and, and, and that is important. Um, one of the things I was thinking about before coming to this interview was that, um, you know, when you're part of creating something that is so massive and important in today's society and world and in the world of entertainment, you should own a stake in it. And, and, and increasingly what we're seeing is that those that create um, uh, the, these, the, you know, the most popular dramas or the most popular subjects of dramas um, are not in control of them. And, and when I say that, I mean, um, you know, uh, women, people from, uh, women, people from minority backgrounds, people, people who may have, um, uh, uh, you know, diversity in terms of their sexual orientation, you know, anything that we're, whereby that we, what we today class as minority, are not actually in control of what, what the popular, um, uh, the popular content it consists of. So um, it's important that underrepresented voices are heard because they're the ones who are driving the industry. They're the ones who are driving creativity. They're the ones who are driving content. In, 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 you know, and they're the ones that are driving the interesting content. So they should have a stake in it because they, th that narrative should be controlled by the people that the narrative represents. It shouldn't be controlled by somebody else. Um, you can expect Mango Tree to grow. You can expect Mango Tree to invest in um, projects that are um, inclusive and representative. You can expect Mango Tree to make more partnerships and to partner more with companies like Inside Success um, and, and companies that work with young people, emerging talent, uh, um, talent from underrepresented backgrounds within media. Um, you can expect Mango Tree to, 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 to reach out more to um, those, those communities, learn more from those communities and, and implement that learning into our programming. Keep guiding us, um, keep guiding, um, keep innovating. I'm inspired and, and was inspired by um, what happened in this country, in the UK, in London, specifically London, but in, in, in different communities in, in, around England, but specifically in London, because I'm a Londoner from East London. Um, um, I'm inspired by what happened in the music industry with people like, and from my generation, with people like Wiley, but also later on with people like Stormzy, who instead of joining record labels, created their own record labels. Instead of having a distribution company distribute for, for them, they distributed for themselves. Um, instead of um, going to already established communities, they established their own communities. Um, I'm inspired by young people. So in terms of advice, I would say, you know, advise us. 
um, tell us which direction to go in. Um, always have a plan, um, always have structure. Don't, don't um, disregard the importance of structure and a structured plan and, and, and never be ageist either. I think that, um, and, and, and that goes for forward and reverse. I think it's really important that whilst I'm speaking about emerging um, uh, uh, in, in industries in audiovisual and in content, I'm not um, saying that the, the established things like terrestrial television don't have something to teach us. If you look at those organisations, they've been hugely successful. And so there's something to learn from them. But don't depreciate yourself. Don't depreciate your own innovation. Don't depreciate your own, um, your own skills and your own chutzpah. You, you guys have like, you know, you lead us. Um, it's not the other way around. So with youth, um, I'm always looking to be inspired by them, not just to, to give advice. Please like and subscribe Inside Success. Inside Success is one for now and one for the future. Thank you. Cheers.